Hey everybody, as you can see, it's a somber day. Doesn't sound like it might be too somber in my voice, but I'm trying to stay upbeat about it. It's never fun when you uh, accidentally smash a GoPro in so hard to the ground that it no longer functions. I don't know if that would be considered warranty though. It's pretty much normal use, normal wear and tear. I just happened to crash on a gravel parking lot um, rather than on the grass like I normally do. So what I did is I built uh, a new plane yesterday and took it out for its maiden flight, which just didn't end so well. And obviously it's not wise to put uh, expensive equipment on uh, for maiden flights, but I actually needed the nose weight. Um, and so I just was like, oh, the GoPro is perfect. So why don't I just throw the GoPro and all the FPV stuff on there? And um, it was pretty windy yesterday. It was blowing probably about 20 mile an hour headwind. And the propeller I had on there was good to keep up into the wind. Um, but as soon as I turned around, there was so much wind pushing the rear end of the plane that it got really wonky. And I just I couldn't save it. And it ended up... Uh, um, over the gravel parking lot and got to the point where I was, I was trying to save it, trying to save it, and it was going down and I thought the more throttle I was going to give it or whatnot, it was just going to drive it into the ground harder. So I just killed the throttle, hit the, hit the throttle switch, and I think it hit the ground upside down, nose, kind of nose first, which means the GoPro actually hit first. GoPro would have been sitting on the plane like this and it probably came down, bam, right into the ground, just smash and folded it backwards. Um, so the lens, I think was the, uh, the lens shield hit real hard. I peeled away everything while I was out there and noticed that I don't even see a scratch. I don't really see a scratch on that lens, I don't know. Let's see if I can get it to focus all right there, but I don't really see a scratch on that guy. Looks pretty good. So lucky there, if I can find the right part to repair this guy. So let me show you guys. Heard something rattling around and I was like, oh gosh. Did I break something pretty dramatically? This uh, surface mount chip. There we go. This surface mount chip right here came off. Came off the board. So I don't know. I'll call GoPro or contact them through email and uh, see see what they can do, see if they can get me a replacement main board and I can maybe do all the rest of the work. Um, I'm not a certified electronics tech yet. I wish I was or maybe it would be even easier for them to do it, but uh, soon, soon I'll be a certified electronics tech. And uh, yeah, and a new LCD screen. Um, if I can see the left side of the LCD screen, I think that would be enough for me. I think I can cycle through menus and do everything I need to do with just seeing partial LCD screen. But um, that's just assuming everything else is fully functional. Um, the lens seems to be in good shape. Nothing else is loose in there. It's just that one chip not mounted. Um, I have not surface mounted anything before. Um, but I did try to contact a couple people because if it's going to be pretty pricey still to get a main board through GoPro, uh, I might just say screw it and try to surface mount that chip right back on. And because uh, I think it just it honestly just simply popped off. There's just a little adhesive on the back of the back side of it. So, um, anyways, bummer, but I'm surviving. Oddly, last night is when it happened. This morning, the first thing I see on my phone is Flight Test posted a video on, um, sorry if it's been blurry, sorry, uh, Flight Test posted a video on GoPro alternatives. So I was like, seriously, was that just coincidence? Or did you see the post I sent you last night about my broken GoPro? And I was like, hey, this is a good time to send that out there. But uh, yeah, there are a number of GoPro alternatives out there. Um, 
I'll maybe do a short video about them later. But yeah, check out Fly Tiss video, and um, there's some other ones out there like uh, Alicia and Mao. I'll. Uh, I know that I might not be saying it right, but if you watch his YouTube channel, you know exactly who I'm talking about. He's already done a review on a pretty awesome GoPro alternative. Uh, anyways, so I'm going to call it good right here for now. I just want to do a, a fairly simple video and uh, share that I am down and out of luck for a little while on my onboard footage, which is alright. I, uh, I still um, flew the quadcopter a little bit. Uh, yesterday after I crashed the plane it was pretty windy out but I was able to fly it just fine and then uh, I actually have some parts now for my RC-10 um, nothing actually really needs fixed or replaced on the RC-10 it's actually uh, pretty much fully functional as is maybe some seals for the shocks um, and maybe a slipper uh, like the clutch pad or a slipper clutch pad if there is a actual slipper clutch pad in there I'm not sure um, but uh, all right, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, take it easy out there. Uh, keep in mind about the electronics. This sort of stuff happens, but uh, um, sometimes better safe than sorry. And also, like I said, you know, sometimes this stuff happens, and uh, it's it's the price we pay for science and fun. So um, it's totally worth it to me. I know it's an expensive camera, and it might be completely broken for me if I don't feel like getting spare uh, replacement parts, but. Uh, I'm sure I'll get it going again. All right, thanks for watching.